so good morning to dear participants uh, the resource person for uh, today's morning session uh, has joined us uh, the resource person professor meera shankar uh, is uh, alumni of uh, my department that is uh, the department of psychology bdu gorakhpur university gorakhpur she has completed her uh, graduation and post graduation from uh, this university only and so it is a proud moment for us to welcome one of our distinguished alumni who is uh, uh, doing excellent work in uh, in a uh, field and after uh, doing her uh, graduation and post graduation from this department uh, uh, professor meera shankar has completed her uh, doctoral uh, uh, work from iit kanpur uh, and uh, presently she is a uh, head department of education and management sndt women's Uni uh, women university mumbai uh, so i welcome you ma'am uh, in your own department uh, 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 the research interest of uh, professor shankar uh, includes role of bhagavad gita in management emotional intelligence conflict management leadership organizational citizens uh, citizenship behavior organizational commitment and uh, various other uh, uh, fields of organizational behavior she is recipient of shastri indo canadian research grant and she has completed uh, many other research projects uh, from uh, icssr and other uh, such bodies uh, she is also a certified counselor in rebt NLP, EMDR, and Grid Consultant. She has authored five books, and uh, her uh, more than uh, forty research papers uh, have been uh, published in different journals of national and international repute. Uh, four students have completed uh, their PhD work under her able guidance, and three or uh, three more are pursuing their. Uh, Uh, research under her supervision uh, her uh, research works are indexed in scopus is uh, jstor and ebsco so i welcome you ma'am on behalf of department of psychology ddu gorakhpur university and uh, my own behalf that you have accepted our invitation to uh, deliver a uh, uh, lecture in the in this seven days a uh, workshop online workshop on women and child development so uh, ma'am i welcome you once again and now the stage is yours and you uh, you uh, can start your uh, deliberation uh, good uh, so thank you so much everyone thank you thank you very much anubhuti ji for your nice introduction indeed i feel that i am uh, there at home do uh, physically i am not there but mentally i am already there and Uh, it seems as if i am i am sitting in the department seeing you there so thank you so much first of all i would like to thanks to you uh, for inviting me and uh, you know uh, giving me this opportunity to interact with the students though i am not aware but i can understand since it is the seven days workshop so i'm sure that uh, 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 many more people must have been involved who are from university or maybe from outside of the university of your institutions or outside of the institutions uh, nevertheless uh, without wasting much time i think i would start a uh, little bit talking about the entrepreneurs behavioral aspect what entrepreneurs should have the kind of behavior is expected from them to groom and uh, to go ahead in their life Uh, now it is uh, as yes. uh, i just want to mention that uh, the participant of this workshop is uh, uh, the faculty uh, mm -hmm. assistant professors and mm -hmm. assistant mm -hmm. professors of different okay. departments yeah okay 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 yeah. so they are the faculty but they nevertheless, are the faculty. nevertheless yeah <laughs> yeah that's okay that's okay uh, because you know we faculty also we are required to develop our skill in in various ways but uh, since topic given to me was related to entrepreneurs or entrepreneurship so maybe whatever we are going to discuss today or talk today or interact today on that 
it is, uh, I would say that uh, effective for all of us. So um, if you permit me, then I would like to start my slideshow and discussing with you all. And uh, feel free to have the discussion because uh, this topic is very, very much interesting once we start discussing. So we have to take care of the time limitation also. Uh, so I'll just... Uh, uh, Yeah, so this, this I thought that I'll talk on uh, today. So since uh, most of participants are the faculty members, so I don't think that we have to discuss things at length, but certainly uh, maybe we teacher are not a businessman, not uh, thinking that we are entrepreneurs, but we are all of our, us, we are entrepreneurs. You know, because who is entrepreneur? It is anybody, you know, who starts anything which is new, Maybe it is ideas, concepts, whatever you think. Uh, yeah, but they are more, mainly focusing on the commercial activities. Though we are not focusing on commercial activities of our own, but certainly we are preparing to the students to stand on their own and that they will help to groom not only to themselves financially, but to the society at large. So uh, as we say that... Uh, Many times they say that why we talk about the entrepreneurs, why not businessmen? So there's one basic difference because we all say that we are entrepreneurs, we are dedicated to do something new, to do something for the society. Uh, because it is understood that basic difference might be that uh, when we start doing our business or any activity related to make money, probably uh, it is already there. It is existing ideas which they are offering and probably they're continuing uh, the same thing, same pattern years and years wise. And in turn, they might be making money as well. Uh, it is not the case with the, uh, I would say that entrepreneurs because generally, usually they operate the new business idea. And that is why they keep growing and keep society growing. Nowadays, the mantra of our Prime Minister, Honorable Mr. Narendra Bhai Damodar Bhai Modi ji, he always says that the skill development should be taught to the students and to all of us. Since we are already service in service and working, so our responsibility as a teacher becomes immense, uh, immensely, I would say that uh, focused on how to motivate the students to start their own doing something own rather than looking for a job here and there. Because as you know, their jobs are limited and uh, you know, there a lot of hindrances are there. If you have some creative ideas, if, if you're an innovative person, probably you will be a uh, little, uh, I would say, feeling. So why not start something on your own? So once we think of starting something our own, it is essential to know what are the innate, if not innate, of course, understood qualities of the entrepreneurs. So uh, if you say, uh, as a psychologist, I can say there could be n number of uh, qualities either we should have or we should try to inculcate or learn or understand. But some of them I have just uh, thought to share with you. And uh, we will continue further and uh, we have a discussion. As one of the most uh, prominent entrepreneurs person, entrepreneurial person I could remember is Dhirubhai Ambani. Now uh, we, we see the flip card, we see the chumbak, we see the many, many uh, more, uh, you know, uh, sectors which is being developed by Indians uh, because of their entrepreneurial nature. And believe me, they have made billions and billions of dollars, uh, which has not groomed them, rich them, make them rich in money wise. But of course, they have contributed in the development and growth of the uh, India also. Let's begin with what I think should be the first and foremost, uh, I would say that uh, ability of any entrepreneur. I think it is true for uh, all of us. You know, if uh, whether you are in classroom, you are going to teach in the classroom, whether you are going to uh, be in the laboratory, in the lab, how you are initiating your class, 
how you are you know putting everybody together and uh, making them to understand what you want them to do or to understand for that it is one of the most important characteristics i feel that has to be the self confidence uh if you wish to become the entrepreneur or in that way whatever you wish to do it what does it mean it means that you have to have or rather you have to believe in yourself that yes you can do it and uh, you always have to believe in your ability and judgment why i say judgment because often if we take decision to do x y z whatever but if within an hour within half day within a day within seven days if we feel oh god my judgment was not appropriate whether i was right whether i my thought process is right or it is not so maybe sometime we may uh, you know change it as in the success will not uh, follow if we change our judgment often and of course whatever ability all of us i think we are able capable of doing something provided if we develop our self confidence and believing on ourselves no matter what people say but you have to believe on yourself and believe me we keep on growing in that process so yeah a lot of teachers are there if i can ask you one question not as question maybe it's just interaction that have you have you ever adapted any innovative idea in your class which has surprised your students because we are very creative i think all teaching professions people are very creative because uh, every year they are teaching the same subject uh, but they are interacting with a new generation so new generations are coming with new ideas new thought process till you don't match with them probably uh, you will be lagging behind in your duty so by just one uh, i would say that not question but one idea was there have you ever introduced any innovative idea in your classroom when you were teaching which you can say that yes it was one of the most aapko pehchane tha maine us din us din to karaya tha maine registration karte rehte hain na wo hamesha kuch na kuch to karte rehte hain i can see there are 30 not not exactly the innovative you can uh, i can say that the innovative one but uh, uh, yeah uh, generally uh, the mode of interaction in our classes are uh, the uh, lectures math lecture method but sometimes we used to do the, uh, the something the jigsaw kind of techniques or sometimes the role playing uh, depending on what I, whatever i am teaching Actually, I surprised my student by giving them let's have test today of ten minutes. Though it is not very innovative ideas, but yeah, role play, any other method of teaching in the class where they it, it becomes very unique. Yes. So maybe you you can have, but right now maybe it is not coming to mind. So after becoming uh, innovative, believe me, anyone entrepreneur, uh, say if I uh, want to. talk or if i want to discuss a lot of difficulties are there in the way of growing yourself maybe sometime it is financial difficulty maybe sometime it is uh, the kind of product you want to uh, produce raw materials are not available human resources are not available with you i'll give one example of kiran mazumdar shah Uh, she was the uh, biotech company's uh, leading lady and uh, she has billions of dollar of worth but when she started uh, her uh, business she was just 25 year old and she started again uh, i think good people rich people they start their business in garage she also started there but the basic problem what she faced was that uh, you know uh, she was not uh, able to get the uh, financial support from the banks and whomsoever she was to hire for uh, for her work they used to refused her because they thought that she's so young 
uh, what would she do so but she never given up she you know she tried to groom herself whichever place she found so that i mean just i have shown uh, some of the example of the uh, nature that if everything is cemented and everything is so solid even if uh, you know you can see that tree is trying hard to grow and of course it is visible that it is in a position to grow and similarly the water is falling down and wherever path is there space is there they are planning to change them their uh, mode of uh, travel and uh, putting themselves there so this adaptive changes is one of the most important aspect and uh, we have to change it is said that uh, nothing is permanent but the change so if you're not accepting the change if you're not adapting with the change probably you will be uh, no more in the uh, market or no more in the business what you want to do to take the example for today's talk i mean how we are discussing today i'm sitting in mumbai and uh, talking to all of you uh, because we have accepted and adapted with the change uh, believe me before corona or covid uh, at least i never thought of that i will be in a position to uh, interact or uh, give a talk or maybe organize workshops or uh, national or international activities using this uh, it platform but those who have not probably they are still uh, not in position to interact and do their uh, act their performance the way they should have done that does not mean that they are not intelligent or they are sharp or not able to talk but only thing that they might not have accepted or adapted the change which covid has given to all of us so uh, that that i think uh, we should be able to uh, be ready to work uh, in any situation if we want to promote our ideas why i say that promote our ideas because uh, as we know that entrepreneur will always come with some innovative and unique idea then only it is going to be accepted and they are being remembered as a innovator if not then probably they will be part of some business uh, sector and they have to do the father business or they have to do their ancestor business and keep on growing like that so that is uh, another very important aspect for uh, for all of us to know that we should always be ready to accept the change adapt the change and groom accordingly as per the demand of the situation one more thing is very important i would say is competition should never scare to anyone when i say so uh, believe me that when you come into the uh, competition maybe uh, as a better idea of starting your own business better idea of uh, developing yourself uh, in the process of skill uh, development you cannot think of though your idea might be innovative though your activities might be uh, uh, unique but that does not mean that nobody is there in that platform before than you you have to make your own process and uh, you know a uh, lot of uh, i would say that competitions are there everywhere maybe one person goes one pa person uh, you know like uh, little bit hesitation is there another person jumps into it and uh, they may grow ahead so competition will be there never think that you know sometime i when i talk to my management students and i discuss with the uh, various entrepreneurial related activities whenever they come up with the idea then another student says oh but already so many people are working there so do you think that people should not work because you will be coming one day to work and uh, becoming an entrepreneur no that will be there that competition is there and particularly in india where we have uh, 1.30 billion people so there there is no area which you can think of that it is untouched but within that 
existing scenario within that existing demand you also have to make your own place and space do you agree with me anyone anshu ji तो जैसे आप ये देख रहे हैं कि ये ये एक एग्जाम्पल है मार्केट प्लेस का लॉट ऑफ बिग पीपल आर इन्वॉल्व आई मीन बिफोर कैट डॉग्स आर रियली रियली टू बिग एंड दैट टू मोस्ट ऑफ देम आई कैन सी जर्मन शेफर्स आर देयर लेकिन कितने कॉन्फिडेंस के साथ कितने आ, मैं बोलूंगी कि अनस्केर्ड हुए और कितने अच्छे से वो अपना पाथ क्रॉस कर रही हैं आप ये देख सकते हैं कि द काइंड ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस शी इज कैरिंग विथ हर ऑल डॉग्स मे बी देर ट्रेन डॉग दैट्स अ डिफरेंट इशू जस्ट इज अ सिंबॉलिक पिक्चर दैट दे डेयर नॉट टू से एनीथिंग मार्क ऑन दैट बिकॉज दे क्वाइटली ऑब्जर्विंग दैट वेयर द स्मॉलेस्ट पर्सन और स्मॉलेस्ट कॉम्पिटिटर इज गोइंग बट यू नेवर नो टूमोरो दैट पर्सन कैन बी द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज और बी अचीवर in the particular area where he or she might have choose to be interviewed so competitions are everywhere no matter whichever we go because uh, sometime even in education system i'll give you some example that uh, uh, with your colleague or with your seniors or with your juniors sometime you don't get along with them so you keep on once you get to know that person is getting transferred or uh, changing the job or whatever it is you become very happy That chalo acha hua kam se kam jaan bachi, but you don't realize when your second competitor arose from there, and then again you start struggling. So it is not the competition which should be vanished. It is you who should be accepting the competition, adapting yourself, grooming yourself, believing yourself, and match with the demand of the situation. Till you don't do, probably you will not be able to sustain or even survive. I would say for the longer time. Uh, whichever area you choose with so uh, according to me uh, we have to be uh, fearless as in uh, emotional intelligence as uh, anumuthi madam has told that uh, i i practice it always say that be fearless fearless does not mean that you don't have to respect others uh, you don't have to maintain the discipline or you don't have to obey the order fearless means that in your mind you have to be fearless once if you start it put your best give your 100% what result will be there that is you don't have to bother maybe here i always believe about the shlokas karmane va adhikaraste ma phaleshu kadachi that says that you do your work with whole heartedly give your i would say not only 200% but give your And not hundred percent, but give it two hundred percent. But don't fear about the result, because the result may come, may not come. Again, it depends what activities, what work, what prior preparation you have done. So that is, uh, I mean, to say that uh, any type of competition, if you are involved, if you are not capable of, certainly you will not be involved. that also maybe i can say that if you you have to judge yourself whether you can become a, a entrepreneurial person whether you can be innovative whether you are having so much self confidence else maybe you can work like how we are working but wherever you are working competitions are there and face the challenge and go ahead here i have given one example <coughs> sorry uh i do not know how many of you must be knowing it but uh, in bombay and many uh, metropolitan cities it is very 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 much famous uh, the brand of this shop is called chumbak uh, as it is written you can read also that uh, there was a lady from name shubhra chadha she has uh, gone on maternity leave and uh, in that process she lost her job or there was some problem in job 
and then she thought of that uh, i should start from business business of what that many times when we go abroad or uh, in india also in many places we try to buy a souvenir and then we bring back to our home and we always cherish that moment where we had gone and uh, how we what we got it so she thought of that when at the airport or maybe in many other places if indians want to uh, if somebody wants to buy something from india it was very hard to find out i mean of course when she started now go again a lot of things are available <coughs> so she thought of uh, opening a chain of uh, shops of productivity where you know she can create something very funky which is very indianized you know a lot of uh, multi color she used and uh, very ethnic kind of product uh, she started making it when the idea has come of course money was the issue and problem so she and her husband both of them they decided to sell their house you can understand that what a challenge they have accepted because probably they were believing a lot in themselves it will be very difficult for anybody to sell their own house and uh, if out of you know doubt comes in in anybody's mind you know that suppose if i would not be successful then what then probably nobody would do but the look at the case there's so much belief they uh, rather she had on her own self that uh, her husband was uh, you know very much influenced with her idea and they sold their house and they started and today it is one of the uh, very very well known brand everywhere have you heard about it anyone acha theek hai nahi bhi suna hoga to kabhi aap google kijiye ya kuch kijiyega to pata chalega ki kafi acha brand hai aur quality is also very good i'm not marketing this brand but i'm just telling that if somebody uh, wish to you know uh, accept the challenge and wants to do something lot of hurdles comes and how uh, people can overcome with the hurdles and how they are becoming successful in their life uske sath kya hota hai self determination strong determination hona chahiye self determination strong determination often what happened that we uh, we work very hard uh, to really very very long time but we uh, you know uh, we we give up at the very last you know like uh, hammer of the success as you can see here uh, this picture is being shown that uh, this poor guy he was he he was you know working hard to uh, i don't know whether he is uh, digging the uh, cave or whatever it is and after doing so much hard work he is uh, you know giving his effort here where probably if he might have given one uh, big hit uh, i think he would be able to uh, get all these diamonds so determination has to be very very strong because you never know that you are very very close to uh, achieving your goals and you are uh, coming out of it but if determination is strong then you will think that no matter what may come i will complete this task till still i am not uh, you know in a position to uh, i would say that avail or achieve my goal so that determination has to be among all of us and uh, yeah then success success will follow all of a sudden when we are much more determined and uh, if we lose it or if determination is being lost in between probably it will be a big loss to us and our hard work is also will be of no use because just you leave you are you are you are putting uh, just one step before you are success so don't quit if you have started something and if you have started with uh, with the idea that yes it should be done and it should be achieved <coughs> yes determination of course initially you have to take initiative then confidence is there then self determination is there and initiative has to be all the time and you may have hundreds of uh, workers you may have many people you may have lot of employees working for you 
but you have to take initiative all the time for any act you can never be think of that i am a boss because it is one of the basic uh, you know i would say the difference between when we talk about the manager and the entrepreneurial person that manager think that a uh, chair hoga ek ac room hoga aur hum jaake baithenge aur kuch logon se kaam karayenge so that is the definition of management we say that getting things done from others but uh, entrepreneurial person they are not like that they may open their own office door they may clean their own office they may clean their own cabin they may fill their own water and they may may wait for the employees to come you know because it is their job so from peon to boss everything they are and they can never think of that they are the boss they are always the part of the people whom they are working with because once they start thinking of boss maybe uh, you know it could be uh, very much uh, disturbing for them and growth may stop i'll give one example one boy he has done his uh, uh, entrepreneurial development institute se unhone management kiya tha and then he went to his father and father was a businessman and he said ki pita ji mujhe ek alag cabin chahiye to father asked why this is because now i want to have my own cabin because i am a boss i want to look like a boss because i have done my management so father say that once the day you become or carry this mindset probably you will be nowhere even if you can stand like a boss but our business will be nowhere and i said you are not going to have your own cabin nothing doing you sit with me and see how things are being done and go and be with the workers and go uh, be with the product uh, persons and know everything on your own never ever think that you are the boss once you start thinking that you are a boss if you have your own business probably it will be a big setback to you if not tomorrow then day after tomorrow ah uh, i'll give you the example you all of you must be knowing it that uh, flip card abhi to unhone hata diya hai shayad kitna bada challenge tha do bacche inhone bahut hi achhi jagah se education ki thi sachin bansal and binni bansal inhone shuru kiya tha 2007 mein and Uh, they used to go to the uh, sh- uh, book shop to everywhere and they used to tell people that why are you coming and buying sh- uh, books from here you take it online and probably you will get this much uh, uh, benefit uh, but they they kept on doing it for many many days but uh, you know like it is said that after many days one person came who bought uh, the book uh, rather 10 days and uh, पहला सिंगल सेल हुआ था आफ्टर टेन डेज बट टूडे वी ऑल नो वेर फ्लिपकार्ट इज एंड हाउ दे हैव वर्क अपॉन सो यू नो लाइक वेन यू आर स्टार्टिंग समथिंग एन इनिशियटिव एंड दे वर हाईली क्वालिफाइड इफ आई एम फॉर नॉट फॉर गेटिंग प्रॉब्लम दे वर फ्रॉम द आई एम ग्रेजुएट सो दे हैव टू फॉर गेट दैट फ्रॉम वेयर दे हैव स्टडीड दे हैव टू जस्ट फोकस व्हाट दे विश टू डू एंड व्हाट दे विश टू अचीव as uh, you know that uh, executive chairman of linkedin he says that an entrepreneur is someone who jumps off a cliff and built a plane on his own down on his way down so such a hard work you have to do and of course how can you do it always remember believe in yourself and always be focused on <coughs> whatever activity you are doing as you know that if you wish to become uh, or we want to be uh, starting something uh, some our own business we always have to be innovative initiative confidence wo sab hai uske sath sath we also have to grab the opportunity when i say earlier that you can't think that people nobody will be working in the sector in the area where you wish to work with there only you have to grab the opportunity as you can see here koi batayega ye kya ho raha hai अभी ये बहुत अच्छा होता है मैं बोलूंगी कि ऑनलाइन में योर माइक इज म्यूट योर वीडियो इज म्यूट एंड यू कैन वर्क लॉट ऑफ अदर थिंग आल्सो बट आई एम श्योर दैट सम पीपल माइट बी लिसनिंग एंड सीइंग आल्सो तो ये क्या है इट इज ईगल इज ट्राइंग टू गेट दर्क एंड हाउ हार्ड इट इज 
how hard you know to to concentrate because they are the biggest scientist they can understand that how how far they are going to fly where this bird can fly and then accordingly they uh, they put their target and achieve their target accordingly so uh, you have to look for opportunity then you have to take action to get that opportunity being fulfilled and being with you and be successful yeah <clears throat> because opportunity may not come easily so you have to be in a position to seize the to to trap the opportunity which is maybe unusual to obtain and mobilize necessary resources your speed has to be in that direction your entire resources has to be in that direction and till you don't get it you keep on you have to focus on it so that is uh, also one of the very very important uh, aspect of uh, anyone who wish to start uh, to be or uh, entrepreneurs that you should be very very vigilant alert uh maybe in psychology uh, professor anubhuti madam must be knowing that we talk about the uh, sensitivity training it says that all the time you have to be alert sometime they say that even if you are sleeping then also you have to be alert that if somebody comes near to you probably you should be in a position to awake yourself so that is the uh, the, the the kind of uh, expertise the kind of alertness is required by the entrepreneurs <clears throat> to give the example i have quoted here uh, we all must be knowing that uh, earlier uh, to take a flight for the common person it was uh, sort of daily thinking this uh, you can say that a retired person uh, from the indian army he thought of opening the low cost airline known as air deccan and it was i think in 2003 he has yeah it was in 2003 he has started doing it and then he made good amount of money but uh, nearly coming to 2009 when more and more competitors uh, have come in so he he sold uh, his own uh, business and idea because he made enough money by that time and probably he must have started uh, for some other venture so you have to see the opportunity what he must have done it he must have traveled in flight he must have uh, uh, paid his uh, uh, ticket and he must have realized that common people would not do that so what should we do he he took the opportunity and now we 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 all can you know if we plan properly we all can fly so that is the uh, now one of the uh, greatest quality i would say that entrepreneurs they should have then persistent as it is written here that persistent uh, is also known as relentless uh, tenacious insistent dog is to bond is to bond matlab ki not in a negative sense in a sense that what i want to do i will do no matter what may come what hindrances are coming uh, before me uh, what are the <clears throat> problems and issues uh, challenges i would say that it may come on your path but never give up and uh, of course it, uh, it it comes with a lot of sometime that that nature is of yours would be and a lot of hard work required because it is not uh, very easy to you know <clears throat> to face problem or challenges for a long time we all succumb to the pressure but certainly those who succumb to the pressure probably they they they, they don't become the achiever but those who are persistent in their task it can be started at the very 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 low level nominal level but slowly they grew and you know they they achieve their target so persistency is uh, i mean it is it is good for to all of us uh, maybe to the students to to the teachers that uh, we when we start uh, writing a research paper you can understand you might have felt initially it is very very difficult you know like uh, it it seems as if you know like next paper i would never write but 
if you don't leave your persistence you keep on writing keep on working slowly you will realize that how smooth your activities have become and that is why um, uh, you keep on doing your work and one day you you get the fruit of that and you become a good researcher you become a good scholar research scholar also i can say so persistence is also one of the biggest quality yeah never give up isme bataiye kaun kisko matlab kaun who is working as an entrepreneur who is not giving up anyone acha theek hai ma'am frog ji stork ji stork acha wo medhak hai ha ha frog yes या यू कैन सी दैट उसकी जान बिल्कुल बगुले के मुंह में है ऑलमोस्ट ही ही मे मे बी उसका भोजन बन सकता है लेकिन फिर भी वो पूरी कोशिश कर रहा है कि कैसे मैं इससे बाहर आ जाऊ सो दैट हैज टू बी द नेचर ऑफ द इंटरप्रेन्योर्स नेवर एवर गिव अप वंस ऑफ कोर्स यू हैव स्टार्टेड एंड यू रियली बिलीव इन एन यू वांट टू थॉमस <coughs> एडिसन ने बहुत पहले कहा था परसिस्टेंसी के साथ साथ कंसिस्टेंसी भी जरूरी है रेगुलर करते रहिए हमेशा करते रहिए एंड ऑफ़ कोर्स द माइंड सेट ऑफ नेवर गिव अप हैज टू बी देयर ही सेड दैट मेनी ऑफ लाइफ फेल्योर आर पीपल हु डिड नॉट रियलाइज हाउ क्लोज दे वर टू सक्सेस व्हेन दे गिव अप अगर वो थोड़ी सी मेरे ख्याल से उसका प्रेशर थोड़ा और पड़ जाएगा तो बगला अपने आप खोल देगा लेकिन अगर उसने अगर हाथ बढ़ाया ही नहीं होता कुछ कर ही नहीं पाता तो वो शायद हम सोच भी नहीं सकते थे तो परसिस्टेंसी के साथ साथ कंसिस्टेंसी भी बहुत जरूरी है हमेशा प्रयास करते रहिए जैसे मैंने आपको पहले एक वो आपने देखा होगा एक तो मैंने शो किया था Make it, how close uh, he was getting so much diamonds together, and I, I I do not know how much hard work he might have done, but uh, see uh, result was zero because he 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 was not consistent, and determination level was also not very high because of the lack of consistency and persistence. ये सब चीजें साथ साथ मतलब कहने के लिए हम बोल सकते हैं कि ऑल दीज आर क्वालिटीज ऑफ कोर्स एवरीबडी ऑल इंटरप्रेन्योर शुड हैव बट दे कम टुगेदर ये एक साथ होते हैं हमें अलग अलग नहीं होते हैं तो यू हैव टू बी परसिस्टेंट यू हैव टू बी कंसिस्टेंट आल्सो एंड ऑलवेज बी विजिलेंट टू नो हाउ मेनी रिसोर्सेज यू हैव आप देख सकते हैं so many ladders are lying but that person might not have uh, paid attention so he is he is you know start trying to stand or see whatever it is other side of the wall uh, from so much hard work so kai bar hota hai ki we have resources within ourselves near or surrounding within family aap kahi bhi naam le lijiye but we look for uh, outside because we are not perceptive enough to realize what are the resources we are going to have with okay so uh, despite of having so many ladders uh, the the educated person is not using it and how uh, he he is acting upon so it always say that you have to be very very much vigilant and uh, recognize realize your own resources without any hesitation because often we don't use our own resources in the sense that nearby people nearby person nearby because sometimes we are not open <laughs> and sometimes we don't want to involve the person whom we know probably in that process we will not be able to uh, good entrepreneurs entrepreneurs so always be able to um, to to realize whatever resources you have and how to use it in a maximum level for your own benefit 
So uh, then maybe your path of success will be very, very easy. So whatever you are doing, apart from having uh, all these qualities which are uh, required to become uh, an achiever, uh, or you can say that a successful uh, entrepreneur, you should always be concerned. If I say concern, must always be. Paying attention on the quality. Because how can you be different from others if you don't pay attention to the quality? You know, like we have one, uh, you also there in Gorakhpur, also I'm sure that uh, it must be Tiwari Mithai Wala. His sweets are very expensive, but everybody goes there one. And believe me, often uh, if you want to buy something what you're interested in, it is over because quality of sweets are so good that uh, no other uh, you know mithai wala can match it so if you are good in quality people will come from far away to take the product from you because you just have to name it that okay we also suggest that you go and buy this from here you go and you know meet this teacher or professor because he or she knows the subject or quality of the knowledge or understanding is very very high so any area whatever if you want to be successful Always you have to maintain your quality. Once if you start, I will, I will give you another example of Nike. Uh, the earlier product of Nike used to be of very high quality. Slowly what they did was, they deteriorated the quality, uh, probably to, uh, to save their own uh, expenses. Uh, but uh, price was the same. So what they did was price, they kept same, but the product quality uh, was deteriorated. Slowly, people who, who, who used to buy from Nike, their t-shirts or, yeah, shoes quality is still uh, much better. But I'm talking about the cloth or material wise. They have deteriorated. And people, I, I've heard that many people say, no, 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 Nike products are not so good. You can go and buy from here and there. So, they may think that now I make my money, now, uh, uh, now I've made my name. So people will come uh, after just hearing the name. No, you can make fool people for some time, but not always. So quality has to be of superb and immense if you want to be successful as well as you want to remain in the business for the longer time. Uh, yeah. So keep on growing yourself. Always have the mantra of saying that quality should be first, no matter whatever you do. And uh, maybe even I believe in that. Quality of anything, yeah, it requires a lot of hard work. And sometimes uh, you have to put your, your profit margin maybe a little less. <laughs> because you're putting yeah, more and more uh, money to maintain the uh, quality. That is why nowadays uh, almost every company they have their own quality control uh, department, but never cheat in that. And try to do uh, one thing at a time. What does it mean? But if you wish to maintain the quality at the initial stage, you have to focus on one thing first because you put your hand in 10 things together to work together probably it may it may be possible that you're not able to put your consistency persistent nature in all those products and it may be possible that none of them they work for you so no matter how hard you are facing how difficult the task is how difficult the path is once if you've decided that you want to do this and uh, really you're dedicated towards it first you focus on doing one thing at a time believe me you will get a uh, good reward in that when i say so means many people they they like suppose if you are attending this session here or any other session or even the school college or university you are and once you reach to the uh, to the institute 
you start talking to the children or uh, doing this that household job so that time what happens your mind is diverted your focus should be where you are if you are at home do all those activities or complete all responsibilities of uh, family related or home related but once you reach to the office your focus should be 100% to complete the task of uh, your job and uh, whatever work you are required to do there so uh, often it happens that yahan jo karna hota hai wahan karte hain jaise kai baar hota hai bachcho ka exam hota hai maths ka exam ho physics padhne lagte hain because they like physics those days sometimes i have seen some of the children like that so aisa nahi hona chahiye focus on one thing and probably you will be achieving your success as you know john com uh, has said that uh, whatsapp ke ceo hain wo that we only wanted to do one thing and do that really well you know when whatsapp started uh, i think very uh, recently it has started uh, but we even we were not knowing that how important whatsapp going for us today whatsapp has you know really uh, involved us like anything all the time we are updated with uh, many many facilities and you can see that a lot of hindrances which were there were earlier suppose by mistake if we used to send any messages and it was you know like nightmare for us that how we are going to delete it and if it was not wanted or unwarranted immediately they realize and they again come up with their other solution that you can delete it for everyone or for yourself something like that so they keep on growing and uh, today you can see that uh, what a million dollar of uh, business they are doing because they have focused only to uh, to to groom themselves to uh, grow themselves in one sector or in one area yes you have to be effective not only effective but efficient also effective will be what whatever you do that you should be in a position to put a desired result and put do everything as per your ability so put your effect efficiency to become it more effective suppose if you are preparing for a lecture you have to have extra knowledge beyond what you are uh, going to talk and when you go and deliver it in the classroom it has to be effectively delivered how efficiently you have already been prepared so that is one of the very important task for any anyone or any entrepreneur or anyone i would say no matter whatever you do no matter whatever you uh, try to achieve however you try to achieve systematic planning is one of the most required thing for all of us for anyone uh, if you don't plan things systematically it will go haywire and then sometimes it becomes very difficult to uh, you know uh, to 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 control and it may go beyond your reach then your frustration anxiety anxiousness and uh, mental tension mental stress and all those things start believe me if you are plan in advance well planning is being done it is very easy to do things within our reach because we all know that how uh, one vision and mission i don't want to tell that how it is being uh, uh, analyzed but yes a big goal is there but to achieve that goal we have to go step by step by step then you also have to uh, think of that you may uh, get certain obstacle kuch badhaaye aayengi aapko jo achieve karna hai to it should be anticipated in advance and work that how you can overcome of that barrier or obstacles ke bara mein aisa kehte hain are maine to ye socha hi nahi tha ki aisa ho gaya ya ho jayega be prepared for that because if you are trying something new if you wish to uh, get the desired result nothing will be so smooth the way you think because you are coming into the competition you are trying to start something where many competitors are already there and they probably would not like that you grow ahead or you go ahead with them so you have to be a little different and you have to anticipate 
what issues, what problem may arise tomorrow. And if you have created alternatives, probably you also have to uh, evaluate what could be the merits and demerits of those alternatives. Means one has to be, you know, uh, checked for initial solution. Kisi tarah se abhi ka kaam khatam ho jai. But for iske baad agar kuch obstacle aata hai, uski wajah se, then how that has to be overcome. So certain uh, strategy, certain uh, systematic planning <coughs> may have its own merits and demerits. You should be in a position to, uh, you know, overcome or analyze it properly. And always be very logical, never be emotional. Be emotional when you are doing other activities. Emotional means you are zeal is there, you want to do it. But when you plan something, you be very logical. Means whatever it is within your reach, whatever you can do, maybe you can uh, go ahead thinking and doing that. So once we do the systematic planning, uh, we have to be problem solver because any worker, any financial aspect or any products, if anything goes wrong and you are the boss, you are the one who, who have created this or wants to develop it, everybody would come to you for any little problem. Like how even if you're HOD uh, or I'm, I'm director, so uh, for any issue, no matter how trivial it is, people will come to you and you are supposed to give the solution. Sure, maybe that that is not the case. But you, since you are you you are anticipating and you are systematic planning for that, that certain problem may arise. You have to identify the root cause of the problem. What could be the root cause of the problem? And of course, you also have to define and develop various strategies in your systematic planning. That what are the resources we uh, you can require later on. And what are the hindrances? Constraint also would come, and how to overcome with this. Uh, if I remember, uh, you also must have heard that uh, in Jamnagar, there's a refinery company of the uh, Ambani's, and when uh, they were putting their uh, industry there, so his engineer came and he says that ये अपना भूकंप का भी एक यहाँ पे मशीन लगा देते हैं, so that it will be seismic. यहाँ पे seismic zone है, तो वो जरूरी है. उसमें बोध ब्रदर्स जैसे कि अभी यहाँ पे कौन सा भूकंप आता है यहाँ लगाने की क्या जरूरत है बट धीरू भाई से दैट नो लेट हिम डू व्हाट ही वांट्स टू एंड देन बिलीव मी जब गुजरात में बहुत बड़ा अर्थक्विक आया था तो सिर्फ जामनगर ही ऐसा था जो कि सस्टेन था इंटैक्ट था क्योंकि वो उस समय जो प्रॉब्लम कल आ सकती थी ही माइट सीन एंड अकॉर्डिंगली ही So, ये चीजें बहुत ही जरूरी होती हैं कि हम सोचें और उसके बारे में ध्यान दें और सारे अल्टरनेटिव आपको सोच के रखने होते हैं ठीक है जो जो आपके पास होंगे उसके हिसाब से आप इनोवेटिव सॉल्यूशन सोच के रखते हैं उसके हिसाब से हिसाब से यू कैन जनरेट द न्यू आइडियाज एंड थिंक ऑफ दैट इफ एनी प्रॉब्लम कम्स हाउ इट कैन बी सॉल्व so you can be problem solution oriented and not only for yourself for entire employees whatever problem they they have they may take maybe you have to be with them ye bahut achhi baat hai khas karke main dekhti hu apne logon ke yahan pe ki gujarat mein ya to that extent maharashtra mein bhi businessmen they or maybe other people they they keep very good relation with each other मतलब पर्सनल रिलेशन नहीं भी होगी तो भी प्रोफेशनल रिलेशन उनका बहुत अच्छा रहता है ये भी बहुत जरूरी है अगर आप किसी को आ, कोई इन्फ्लुएंशियल है या जो आपकी मदद कर सकता है कोई कोई इसमें हार्म नहीं है कि हम उसको सुबह सुबह एक गुड मॉर्निंग बोल दें या आप कैसे हैं ये बोल दें या कभी कभार उनका हालचाल भी जान लें क्योंकि कहते हैं ना कि आउट ऑफ माइंड आउट ऑफ आउट ऑफ साइट आउट ऑफ माइंड कि अगर आप सामने नहीं है सामने मतलब कि पर्सनली यू कैन नॉट बी ऑल द टाइम विद अदर्स बट यू हैव टू बी देयर इन देयर माइंड सो दैट इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इसेंशियल क्वालिटी आई वुड से दैट एंटरप्रेन्योरियल पर्सन दे शुड हैव एंड रादर दे दे मस्ट हैव 
that uh, they should keep relation with each other and uh, that is why uh, resources influences can be used and uh, for the betterment or maybe growth of your own uh, uh, company organization or work whatever you think of this is very important aspect <clears throat> a goal is a dream with a plan and a deadline you goal you dream you plan and create your own deadline itne din mein hame khatam karna hai probably then only you will be able to sustain they will be able to develop and they will be able to reach higher and higher then it also says i like it uh, this quote very much that uh, vision without action is a daydream you should have action i mean you have whatever you have visualized put it into action and probably you will go ahead otherwise it will be just like a daydream and action without vision is a nightmare so you should have both the things together you have to uh, visualize and you have to act upon and whatever action you are doing probably it has to always be focused that what you want to do and whether you're going to the path of uh, that vision to achieve your goal or not that that, that is one of the essential uh, i would say that quality all entrepreneurs or all uh, initiators people they they must have so these are just quote because uh, time given by professor anubhuti is going to end Uh, so uh, but it is it is the uh, gist of whatever we have whatever i have discussed so far never ever be afraid of failure but persistency has to be there kyunki uh, many times we may fail but ek bar jo win hoti hai na to sare failure jo hai bhul jate hain remember जो भी सक्सेसफुल हुआ है कभी ना कभी तो फेल हुआ ही हुआ सो नेवर एवर बींग डिस्करेज स्टॉप योर स्ट्रगल टू अचीव द सक्सेस बिकॉज इफ यूल नॉट फेल इफ यू आर नॉट समाइम एबल टू डू दैट डज नॉट मीन दैट यू विल नॉट बी सक्सेसफुल प्रॉब्लम फेल्यूर वुड शो यू हंड्रेड पार्ट ऑफ बिकमिंग सक्सेस एंड सक्सेस sometimes they don't show any much path so i, I sometimes i feel that be, being failure is one of the very important uh, part of your life because that teaches us that tells us how to be successful in the future so never ever uh, uh, being afraid of being failed and many times often you have to pursue many people where you may uh, you know uh, get disturbed ek bar jana pada do bar jana pada teen bar jana pada 10 bar jana pada mera kaam ho hi nahi raha hai maybe bahut se offices mein aapko chakkar kaatne pad sakte hain bahut si cheeze hoti hain jab hum when we start start our own uh, business or our own uh, products in fact i would say that they are checking your persistency so always come out or be successful always remember what comes easily normally isn't worth it hard work ke baad hi aap dekhiyega ki bahut zyada parishram karke kisi bhi cheez ke liye aapne paper likha aapne book likhi aapne ek bahut achhi class hi li jiske liye aapne bahut acha prepare kiya aur uh, students ke chehre pe aapko ek satisfaction mila to wo ek uh, bada ajeeb sa acha sa sukoon milta hai तो कोई भी चीज जो इजिली प्रॉब्लम इजिली तो कोई सक्सेस मिलता नहीं है बट अगर कभी कोई चीज इजिली मिल भी गई पेरेंट्स का धन मिल गया या कुछ और काम हो गया आपका प्रॉब्लम वो उतना आपको आ, आ, मैं कहूंगी कि एंजॉयमेंट नहीं देगा जितना कि आप खुद हार्ड वर्क करके कोई चीज सक्सेस पाते हैं और कोई भी नॉलेज कोई भी एक्टिविटी एनी will never be part of your expertise if you are not persistent in your own doing 
similarly the more you do something the better you get it so practice bolte na practice makes man perfect तो किसी भी चीज में आप इंटरप्रनोर हो आप टीचर हो आप साइंटिस्ट हो आप लॉयर हो आप डॉक्टर हो जो पहला ऑपरेशन करता होगा डॉक्टर सोचिए उसकी क्या हाल होती हो लेकिन वहीं से वो सीखते सीखते कैसे एक्सपर्टीज हासिल करते करते हंड्रेड ऑपरेशन करते और एक दिन वो तीन और चार कर लेते हैं बिकॉज दैट बिकॉज पार्ट ऑफ देर प्रैक्टिस एंड एक्सपर्टीज ग्रीव अकॉर्डिंग सो विद दिस i would like to thank all of you and i want to say that only action will define us not thought process not ideas anything but it say that asmakam karyani asman savadhi karishyanti whatever we do that will define who you are what we are and what we can with this i would like to end my talk here and thank you so much to everyone anubhuti ji koi prashn hai kisi ka thank you so much ma'am namaskar ma'am main bahut acha aapka lecture tha bahut hi zyada mujhe lagta hai itna elaborate karke aapne bataya tha fir mera ek question hai actually hum log jis class se ko deal karte hain students mein wo bahut middle class background ki girls hoti hain और वो अगर कुछ नया शुरू करना चाहती हैं तो उसमें उनको सोशल ऑब्स्टिकल सबसे ज्यादा आते हैं कि एक तो फैमिली सपोर्ट नहीं मिलता है खासकर फैमिली में जो मेल मेंबर्स हैं उनका सपोर्ट नहीं मिलता है और सोसाइटी में भी जो मेल मेंबर्स हैं उनका बहुत ज्यादा सपोर्ट नहीं मिलता है उनको तो इसको कैसे ओवरकम करें अगर थोड़ा सा आप बता देंगी तो थोड़ी हेल्प हो जाएगी आप प्रमिला जी बोल रही है जी जी अच्छा प्रमिला जी हम सभी मिडिल क्लास से ही है जी जी मैं ऐसा मानती हूँ कि मिडिल क्लास की डेफिनेशन जो है वो हम सब मिडिल क्लास की है नहीं नहीं एक्चुअली जो हम लोगों के स्टूडेंट हाँ मुझे मैं पूरा करना चाहती हूँ क्योंकि परिवार क्या चाहता है मैं ऐसा नहीं कहती हूँ कि किसी का भी परिवार किसी का भला नहीं चाहता होगा लेकिन आप कैसे परस्यू करना चाहती हैं समझे अगर परिवार की फाइनेंशियल स्थिति ठीक नहीं है और वो कुछ ऐसा काम करना चाहती हैं जिसमें फाइनेंसेस इन्वॉल्व है तो परिवार शायद उनकी मदद नहीं कर पाएगा उसके लिए हमें उनको बहुत से संस्थाएं हैं बहुत से इंस्टीट्यूशंस हैं अगर वो लोन ले सकती हैं तो ऐसी संस्था है अभी तो मोदी जी ने बहुत अच्छा शुरू किया है कि आपके अगर आप सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप में या सेल्फ डेवलपमेंट करना चाहती हैं तो बीस हजार रुपए की आपको फाइनेंस सपोर्ट भी मिल सकता है और फिर मैंने जैसे कहा कि कंसिस्टेंसी और परसिस्टेंसी आपको इन्वॉल्व करनी होगी राधर आपके अपने बच्चों को सिखाना होगा कि कैसे वो कन्विंस करें विदाउट गेटिंग एजिटेटेड विद देयर पेरेंट्स या फैमिली मेंबर जो भी हैं क्योंकि परिवार तो हमारा एक हिस्सा होता है मैं कभी ये नहीं कहती हूँ कि आप परिवार के बिल्कुल अगेंस्ट जाइए लेकिन परिवार के साथ उनको कन्विंस करके अपना काम कीजिए आपने देखा होगा झारखंड की एक युवा महिला थी जो भी हॉकी में खेलती हैं भारत का उन्होंने प्रतिनिधित्व किया है उनके पास वो अमेरिका से घास काटती थी या अपना जो जीवन यापन करती थी तो आप तो चूंकि महिलाओं को सिखाती हैं तो वो वो आती है सीख रही तो शायद वो स्थिति नहीं होगी लेकिन उसके बाद भी उनको था कि उन्हें मतलब दौड़ना है उनके पास जूते नहीं थे उनके पास कोई सुविधा नहीं थी लेकिन उनका जो डेडिकेशन था वो धीरे धीरे उनको वहां तक लाया और फिर लोग आगे आ जाते हैं सपोर्ट करने के लिए और भी ऐसे अभी आप देखिए बहुत से गेम में भी हम लोगों ने खुद ही देखा है कि जो ओलंपिक में हमारे यहाँ विनर होके आई हैं मैं नाम भूल रही हूँ कैसे वो प्रैक्टिस करने जाती थी बॉक्सिंग की कितनी दूर और एक मंदिर में सोती थी और जब उन्होंने परफॉर्म करना शुरू कर दिया तो लोग अपने आप सपोर्ट करने के लिए आए अभी अगर मैं महिला होने के नाते ये कहूँ कि जो हम करना चाहते हैं वो मेरे ख्याल से शुरू में थोड़ा हिंड्रेंसेस रहता है अगेन डिपेंड करता है फैमिली बैकग्राउंड का उनकी सोच कैसी है उनको जागरूक करना है और आपको जो आपकी मतलब छात्राएं हैं उनको इस हद तक मोटिवेट करना है कि वो अपने पेरेंट्स को या अपने घर में 
उनको भी उसी लेवल पे कन्विंस करें लेकिन अगर उनके पास पैसा नहीं और हमें पैसा चाहिए आप कुछ भी करके दो तो ये थोड़ा सा शायद जाति हो जाएगी परिवार के साथ तो उनकी उनकी सुविधाओं को उनकी फाइनेंशियल स्थिति को या जो भी स्थिति हो कल्चरल स्थिति भी हो सकती है किसी किसी बैकग्राउंड के लोगों को शायद उतना अच्छा नहीं लगता हो तो ये आपको करना चाहिए थैंक यू सो मच मैम और प्रमिला जी जो बात कह रही थी मैं उसमें एक बात ऐड करना चाहूंगी कि अगर आप कोई भी आ, काम शुरू कर रहे हैं तो आपका आ, एक प्रोजेक्ट की तरह उसको ले एंड इफ द प्रोजेक्ट इज वायबल इट परसीव दूसरे लोगों को अगर वो लगेगा कि हाँ इसके ये विजन है ये मैकेनिज्म है ऐसे करेंगे तो अगर आप उसको उस ढंग से लोगों के सामने प्रस्तुत करते हैं जो भी तो उससे भी सामने वाला कन्विंस होता है कि हाँ ये डेडिकेटेड है परसिस्टेंट है और साथ साथ में इसका प्रोजेक्ट इसको अपने काम के बारे में जानकारी है तो ये भी एक या जो करना चाहता है उसको वो ठीक से समझ रहा है अगर आप किसी से अधिकचरा कुछ लेकर के पहुंचते हैं तो वो जाहिर सी बात है कि वो चार सवाल पूछेंगे और फिर आप नीचे हो जाएंगे तो वो काम नहीं करेगा आपको याद है एक धाविका है भारत की एक धाविका है जिनके पास वही मैं कह रही हूँ दौड़ने के लिए शूज नहीं बनाया हाँ, 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 you are talking about Duti Chand. Ke, kya naam tha, naam Duti Chand Duti 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 Chand Duti Chand Duti Chand Duti Chand Chand so 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 much 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 ma'am yeah. 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 so thank thank you 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 for calling me and and it was really pleasure to interact with you all and, uh, agar moka laga, to main jarur, uh, apne institute matlab, apne department ko visit karna Any time then, ma'am. It is your department, and I, जब से यहाँ पर हूँ तब से मैं I am trying to uh, to uh, locate uh, our alumni and uh, trying आपने, to interact. आपने बहुत them. अच्छा किया, बहुत अच्छा किया. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, and uh, I am uh, pretty sure that my all the participants have enjoyed the uh, your deliberation and. Uh, It is very thought provoking as well और सबके लिए एक motivation था कि आप आप खुद भी अपने life में क्या changes ला सकते हैं so thank you so much once again ma'am on behalf of department of psychology and on behalf of the participants as well thank you so much for having thank me thank you so much thank you so shall I leave now yeah yeah you you can leave ma'am and uh, it is a note for participants as well that uh, the next session will start at twelve o'clock. so you uh, all okay, of you are requested you. to join at 12 thank you so much ma'am thank you thank you